Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are looking at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe under their Masterverse line, a new subline emerges called New Eternia, and part of this line is the new Skeletor. And yeah, he looks pretty darn cool to have him in hand. I, I love the way that this thing looks. The side of the box, be careful when you're going through all the Skeletors and He-Mans, you might just end up with this guy like I did. I hit the very last one and I was like, oh my god, I'm glad that I really checked. The artwork on the box is absolutely Phenomenal. This is bad ace in every facet that you can say. This looks amazing from the artwork to the design to everything they're going for. New Eternia, original designs inspired by classic concepts. So take the whole old school Master of the Universe team, take Mark Taylor's awesome Skeletor He Man designs, and they're making action figures based off of them. So you take an old school look for Skeletor, maybe mash it up a little bit of a Demo Man, right? That's where I think all the hair comes in and whatnot on this Viking Skeletor, and it just works. It looks amazing, and it makes Skeletor look like what I think Skeletor should look like. I mean, you can read up all about it right here on this little bio, which, thank you, Mattel, for giving characters bios, an extensive one at that, but just the artwork in general, man. That is so unbelievably cool and if anybody was wondering how a skull has a beard it's chia pet effects right of course here's every other character in this particular wave I haven't found any others just yet but happy to have found skeletor and here's the barcode as well like i said i picked mine up at target so you can start checking there now so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mattel Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, the new Eternia, Skeletor. And of course, here's everything taken out of the box. Now, with the recent price hikes and everything else, I did get this guy for the $20 price point, which is fantastic. And I'm really liking everything that they give you in the box for said price point. So that right then and there is a home run for me. And to top it off, you get the, well, you, you get a blade, right? And for me, I'm like, okay, well, uh, this must be the uh, the concept art sword. Whatever. It looks really cool, right? Wish it could have just a little bit more paint on it. I like the detail as it is. This is the Scimitar of Chaos, right? So you can do the whole Rick Flag. <laughs> Don't get killed by a Skeletor, or else it'll suck up your soul, right? So, yes, cool, new weapon, totally down for that. You get a bunch of extra hands, you got open hand, you do get a, we'll say a gun, finger trigger hand, but no gun for this guy, and you do get one heck of an awesome new Skeletor head portrait. I like the design of the hood, I like the skull, the paint, mine has a little blemish on the side of the head, that's okay, yeah, you're not gonna say it too much. How cool would it be, though, just say, I love this head portrait, if he had an articulated jaw. That would be amazing, right? Clattering teeth and all that kind of stuff. Now you get the Havoc staff. Here's where I say it's fantastic. It's creepy look. It's a creepy looking Havoc staff. It's sculpted to the nines, but I just wish that there was some paint to it. Really bring it forth. You know, paint the skull, get the horns and everything else. But this is, to me, going more for that cool concept illustrative art look. So more paint definitely on the Havoc staff would have been awesome, but then you have the actual figure itself. And I can't tell you, again, I, I, how much I love the look of this guy. That is a cruel, creepy, sinister, malevolent looking Skeletor. And I think it's the goatee, right? And you can correct me if I'm wrong, but he has a little bit of an element of a Mark Taylor beard in there. And I like that, right? I saw that. I was like, huh, that's actually pretty cool. I like the way that they kind of folded that in there. Whether they did it or not, I think of it that way, and that's pretty cool. Now, he does come with this harness, and he comes with the cape. Everything's attached, right? You can kind of see it's supposed to mold to that little crossbones on his chest. It doesn't really stay all too well. I wish that you could attach it better. You know what I mean? It just kind of hangs there. When you start wanting to move the cape, it's a really nice cloth goods cape. It's all kind of tattered and cut perfectly to kind of give it that look. But when you start tugging on it or moving around, it will move the harness around. So I wish it just attached a little bit better. Now with the body type, it's the same exact Mass of the Universe buck before. Although the articulation has vastly improved with moving around. I guess this is the best way to say it. It's pinless joints. You actually have some ab crunch, ab movement, 
moves around. He's got the waist. I really like the back of his harness right here because he has weapon storage. So you can put the scimitar in there and it attaches nicely. So no qualms with that. Now, if you're wondering about, let's say, the Havoc Staff, unfortunately, no. The little slit on the back is entirely too big to really fit that in. And now, of course, going back to the articulation, he can do the splits. He can have thigh swivel and double jointed knees. He's got some new shin guards to him. Nice detail all the way around. He does share parts and pieces with, like, let's say, the previous Skeletor. But you pop the head off and you give him that more classic look for Skeletor. And really, either head portrait is just top notch. Just fantastic. No qualms at all, painted beautifully, looks beautiful, and I really like the skin tone that they've chosen for this Skeletor, right? It's just, it's that really nice blue, nice belt, just overall very happy with him. Because, say, when you want to pose about, display him with various weapons, various poses, cape, no cape, head portrait, let's say old man Skeletor, right, with the beard, or eh, just a normal looking Skeletor, colors of his skin mixed with the weapons, mixed with the head portraits, it works really well. Now, I'll tell you all day, I think the main hiccup to this figure overall is lack of paint in some areas. I think they should have painted the fingernails, the toenails, and then maybe kind of given him a wash or some sense. The wash, I'll take it or leave it, but I think just painting of various nails and stuff would have really elevated it, but top notch to paint the Havoc staff to give that a little bit more detail, more paint, would have just blown this thing out of the water. This thing is a home run figure for me. I absolutely love the look. The more bearded Viking look for Skeletor is pretty much my new look for Skeletor. Again, I think he looks evil, creepy, menacing, and I could not be happier. And if you were wondering how he looks, let's say, with the previous Masterverse Skeletor. Now, this is a custom head on my Skeletor from Hordak MX. You can look at him on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. So it's a lot more a model to the animation, whereas this one is the concept art. A really cool, different take on Skeletor but for me, a very welcome one. I do like the animated Skeletor. Can't say that I was in love with the television show. I think it was just okay, right? But I think that in terms of what I think about Skeletor, this one's just more terrifying. And like I said, whether you decide to pose him with the cape, without the cape, the old school head or this new school head, whatever you want to say, I just think that if you have either Havoc staff, if you have either figure, you really can kind of mix and match to where you find that one Skeletor look that you like. Just in general, yeah, you can swap out the heads. Now, I can't say this one exactly goes, being of the color choices of the head, compared to the body, but, hey, it works for what it is. It might not be totally spot on, but let's say if you were to switch out the Havoc staff, that right then and there totally works. Again, I just think a little extra paint, a little extra love would have been fantastic. And when you want to compare him with other He-Man Masterverse figures, he's going to go in really nicely. Now, I haven't found the new He-Man figure, which, of course, again, much like the Skeletor here is fantastic. Skeletor is great. I do like this He-Man figure, don't get me wrong, but I've kind of had to build it up myself. You get the head portrait, you start mixing and matching the weapons, you find something that works for you. Same as Skeletor. This particular Skeletor is now the coolest Skeletor to me, and for all the different Masterverse bad guys, he looks like he'd be leading him. He's not a goofball Skeletor, and that's what I like. I know that he's supposed to be like that. The film mage, yeah, he's a goofy Skeletor, whatever, but this one is just... Awesome. I love the way this thing looks. So, again, just to kind of wrap things up, highly recommend this new Viking Skeletor. If you come across him and you just happen to have an open spot on your shelf, I think you'll be totally solid to take this one home. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Skeletor. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Masterverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, as soon as I get any of the new Masterverse figures, just come right back here because we'll definitely be taking a look. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.